bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hoss Beer Reviews. Hello again, and welcome to French Hoss Beer Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Uh, tonight we got a short beer. Yes, short. Nothing, nothing to be made fun of about. But. Nope. nope. Vertically challenged. Mm-hmm. It's from Mad Tree Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Who they were founded in 2013, two years after Treehouse. The symbol looks similar. It does. Not so quite t- though. I mean, Treehouse is a bushier tree. Yes. Mm-hmm. Draw your own conclusions. Yeah. We haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is. Uh, what is it? Entropic Theory IPA. Yeah. Seven, just a regular IPA. Yeah. Seven and a half percent alcohol by volume. Uh, canned on March 10th of 2021. Yeah. The, the yeah. year we are currently in. Uh, this uh, says limited release. We didn't look up any information because we're going to tell you what we got in this. Mm-hmm. I'll uh, crack it open. We got our short glasses today for the short beer. Yep. I don't want to offend anybody. I got my regular glasses on so I can see what we wrote down. And I am naked. From the waist down. No, and no glasses on either. Oh, that's true. Uh, we're going to check these in on untapped. Don't give me a full one, bro. I think these are four ounces. I thought they were six. We're going to check them in on untapped. Join us there if you have an FHBR. We'll read uh, Friends Average and the Global Ooh, Average. My glass is perfectly clean. Yes. When we're done, what else is there? Social media links down below. Subscribe, like. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, t- did you All say right. tap the notification bell? Nope. Uh, 1% of the profits from this go to the planet. It says that at the top. I was wondering what that meant. What part of the planet? The, the bad pots to fix it. Good luck with that. All right, this is looking. There's not really a haze to it. It's pretty clear. It's a little hazy. It's not haze. terrible. Pale ale haze. All right. It is pretty clear, though. Yeah, it looks like a, a, a standard IPA to me. Well... Standard nowadays, I guess. Uh, the head is kind of hanging around. It smells a little soapy. A little bit. Sweet. Lemony. S- yeah, lemony, soapy. Not horror. It doesn't, I mean, I've smelled worse than this and had a good beer out of it, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Yeah. Cheers. Grapefruity. It just Tiny. tastes like it smells. I think I, I, I'm impressed with the taste versus the aroma. I didn't mind the aroma either, but this this is similar to me um, along the lines of a Lagunitas type. Um, a little more malt than you're used to getting. Um, it has that lemony soapiness to me. And you I get like soap? That, yeah. I'm getting a, a more sweet. Not even soap. Yeah, I guess you would call it soap, but like cleaning... Solution like the pina sol. All right, I do see a little bit of that lemon pine. Mm hmm. Soap. All right, so yeah, it, it's kind of a standard type IPA that you would find, um, you know, I, yep. um, that it's not juicy, it's not tropical. No, but it's not like a good old school one either. It's almost there, it's almost. It's, it's almost to a regular, um, like... It's not a West Coast IPA by any means. No. I, I find it you similar know, to, like, a Long Hammer. Them, being from, Oha- long the, hammer. The, the, them being from Ohio. It's not an East Coast or New England. It's not a West Coast IPA. It's, it's a Midwest thing. <laughs> Um, I'm going to score this a 3-7. Mm. I'm not that far off of you, really, but, like, I was going to say 3-5. I'll do a 3-6. Okay. 3-6-5 six, for us? I was going to do 3-5-5, five, five, but... Right, for math purposes. And it, it's going to round up anyway, so... 3-6-5? What'd you say? 3-7? Three, three, yeah. 3-6-5. So it's 3-7 when we check it in, and we're going to see uh, what you guys checked it in. How many friends checked it in? Three. Average was 392. 13,000 other people checked it. 392. Yeah. Rod J. Bear Ventures gave it a 
375. We're not mentioning a lot of the scores, but Rod J is a cool channel. Check it out. It's been very helpful uh, answering questions. Um, because this good is guy. yes, this is a you know, there's a lot that goes into this. We need help sometimes. Yeah, he does good beer chats. We just talks about beer topics. Cool guy. Check him out. And our average again was a 3.65, which will round up to a 3.7 when we check it in. Um, so it's kind of a you know average IPA for the types of beers we're drinking. Yes. So agree. Uh, not a bad beer if you're in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. You pulled that out of your ass. Like that how I <laughs> caught that? Cincinnati. I, I clenched my cheeks on that one. Uh, this is Mad Tree Brewing Company. So uh, give them a shot. See you next time. French Hole's Bayer Reviews. Have Bye. a great night.